Thank you for joining us on Campbell Now. I'm Hannah McCravey. And I'm Elise Sewell. There's a lot of action coming up in the Big South Conference, and we're about to see it here at Campbell. Let's hear from our reporter, Kadeem Wynn, for more information. Big things are happening here in Bowie's Creek as two Big South Championship events are being hosted here at Campbell University, both of which are on Saturday. The first being the Big South Cross Country Championships being held at the Keith Hills Golf Course just off 421 outside of the nursing school. The men's race goes off at 10.30 in the morning, and the women's race is followed soon after at 11. Then, stick around in the evening for the women's soccer Big South quarterfinal as they host Presbyterian College with the game going off at 7 o'clock that evening. Stick around for the weekend if you want some big action here in the Big South as Campbell University takes on the conference. Thanks, Kadeem. We hope you enjoy Camel's upcoming, <laughs> the upcoming games. Many are thankful for clean air and quick responses this week. A gas leak was reported late Tuesday evening in Holly Springs. The leak was caused by a nearby company whose name was not released. Precautions were taken as a nearby food line shopping center and a gas station next to it were evacuated. The gas leak required the area from North Main Street to Crossway Lane to be temporarily shut down. Officials were quickly working to repair the leak. The area remained closed until around 6.30 that afternoon and soon reopened once the issue was resolved. People are concerned for their safety from a sequence of unfortunate events. Four shootings were reported within a span of 24 hours in Durham. Eight people have been shot and two were reported dead. Two shootings happened on Monday night, one at a bus stop and another along Wabash Street. Witnesses from both incidents reported seeing a dark-colored sedan. Then on Tuesday, around 2 p.m., a report of shots being fired from a vehicle near North Driver Street were made. A few hours later, another shooting was called in where three people were injured and multiple gunshot cases were found. Police are still investigating if the shootings are related to one another. After this break, we'll have foreign and national news. Sometimes, the things we do or say can make others feel hurt. Situated. Excluded or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. Several villages and a family mourn the loss of a child. A two-year-old boy in southern India fell into an open well Friday morning. The boy was playing near an opening when he slipped and fell more than 100 feet into a borehole. Police and rescue teams were immediately called and worked endlessly to try to get the boy out, even pumping oxygen to give him fresh air. Ropes were sent down in an attempt to latch around the boy's arms and pull him out, but tactics were unsuccessful. On Monday, the Transportation Department's principal secretary said a smell was coming from the hole. The rescue team was finally able to pull up the toddler's body Tuesday, but it had been found in, in, in decomposing state. Following his funeral on Tuesday, officials made sure that the hole was plugged and filled with concrete before they left. In other news, an unsightly crash leaves neighbors in shock. A plane crashed Tuesday morning into a New Jersey home. Officials said the crash sparked an, an immense fire destroying the home and causing damage to neighboring houses. No one was inside the home or injured, but the sole pilot of the, of the plane was killed in the crash. The incident took place 22 miles from New York City. According to police, the plane was scheduled to land in Linden, New Jersey. Reasons for the crash are still being investigated. In terms of good news, two North Carolina high school students lend a hand to a fellow student struggling to fit in. Reedsville High School upperclassmen DeMontes Canada and Tyvon Smoot decided to reach out to a freshman student, a victim of constant bullying. Canada and Smoot noticed the young student eating lunch alone and decided to join him. Their kindness didn't stop there. The teenagers went shopping with him to buy him things he needed. Their story was shared on social media and went viral. It reminds us all of how important it is to care for one another. Many are smiling over a very furry wedding. Two golden retrievers got married in a Texas hospital. Therapy dogs Peaches and Duke are co-workers at the Methodist Mansfield Medical Center. Their romance began at a Starbucks in the medical center while sharing a puppuccino. Patients and staff have often caught the dogs kissing or cuddling around the hospital. To celebrate, the couple wore their best wedding attire and even had a reception officiated by the hospital's pastors. The two now continue to help patients by providing them company. Coming up after this break, we'll have a special guest here to share information on Campbell's Tag Day. Because of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. 
Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. I'm buzzed. I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face Okay, books. you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! Today we have a special guest from the Office of Alumni Engagement and Institutional Advancement, Ms. Alex Bauman. She is here to tell us about Tag Day. Thank you for coming. Uh, thanks for having me. So what exactly is Tag Day? So Tag Day stands for Thank You Giver Day and it is um, kind of has two goals. One, it's an opportunity to educate students on how private donations to Campbell University has made Campbell what it is today. Um, so that's private gifts to things like scholarships and which I know a lot of students have benefited from. I did when I was a student. Um, capital projects like the Student Union and um, athletics and many, many more things. And, um, and then the second goal is to give students the opportunity to thank those donors. Um, and that's done through social media and also written thank you notes. That's awesome. Um, when and where exactly will Tag Day take place? Yeah, so on November 6th, so next Wednesday, um, we will be set up in the academic circle from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and um, we're going to have an opportunity for students to write thank you notes at that time and um, any student who comes out will, who writes a thank you note will get a long sleeve t-shirt and it's on Wear Orange Wednesday so of course the t-shirts are orange and, um, and we'll have 800 of those t-shirts so it'll be while supplies last. Yeah, that's great. Um, what exactly can they do other than that to get involved with Tag Day? Yeah, so um, there are really two other opportunities to get involved with Tag Day besides coming out and writing a thank you note. Um, you can post on social media with a tagged item. So students start might, might start noticing after tomorrow that there will be what we call tags all mm -hmm. around campus. And um, these are marked items that usually there's a name associated with it. So um, like Taylor Hall, Taylor is a name of somebody who gave money to Campbell to, to build that building. And um, you may notice around the Fine Arts Building and Lundy that even classrooms are named. Um, so what you can do is take a picture with one of those items mm -hmm. and um, post it on social media with a little note of thanks in the caption just saying how that item has impacted your education while you're here at Campbell. And um, then the, the other opportunity is to create a video thanking donors and that can just be shots around campus or you talking about how donor support has impacted your time at Campbell. And um, you post that on social media and also email it to the Office of Annual Giving and um, we love getting those videos. They're always really sincere and creative. Awesome. Is there a certain deadline for that, for them to turn in the pictures of the videos? So the video, um, there's a deadline of Monday, November 4th, so this coming Monday, um, the Monday before Tag Day, and um, so it just give us time to review and then so we can release those on Tag Day. And then the picture itself, we'll accept those throughout Tag Day and, um, and we'll pick winners, which um, there are prizes for these. We'll pick the top three posts and give those students $100 gift cards. And then the video is a pretty big prize that we're excited about. Um, the top video will get, um, the person will get a $1,000 scholarship. That's great. Um, yeah. Can alumni get involved as well? Yeah, so alumni, we really encourage them to follow the hashtag, which is hashtag Campbell Tag Day. Mm -hmm. And um, because a lot of alumni are actually donors as well. And so we want them to follow along because it's for them to see how students are thanking them. And um, we also encourage them to post as well, just so that we can see how um, donor support has impacted their education. And now they're on doing big things. And um, all that came from Campbell. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Thank you again for coming today and yeah. telling us all about how to get involved with Tag Day. Be sure to stop by Academic Circle from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on November 6th. Thank you for watching Campbell Now and have a good night.